the Badger Divide. Inverness to Glasgow across some of Scotland's most beautiful and challenging terrain. Officially 208 miles, but add more for wrong turns and detours to food shops. Over 19,000 feet of elevation across gravel, tarmac, single track and footpath. Through forests, alongside locks and over mountain passes. Over 90% of the route is off-road. This is my journey along the divide for Scott Duro. I had 36 hours to complete the route, self-supported, on my own, and with not nearly enough training. It didn't start in the best way. Good morning. We are at the start, but I'm already having problems. My Wahoo doesn't have the route on it for some reason. I've got it on my phone. I hit select route and nothing really happens. Can I turn it off and on again? I was already starting late. It's 23 minutes past eight. I'm just faffing this morning. I always forget how long it takes to put everything together. Let's hope I can get this sorted and then we'll be on the road soon. Fingers crossed. Good luck message from the wife. Come on. Oh, come on! Okay. I cycled back to the Airbnb to get on the Wi-Fi, to reconnect, to reload the route. I think it's now on the Wahoo. Fingers crossed. Stay calm. No stress. No danger. Just 45 minutes less time I thought I had to do the whole road. Let's not think about that. Let's get to the start point and start the ride proper. Oh, what a start. Let's go. We are on the Badger Divide. Let's do this, two days. 35 and a bit hours. 208 miles. Stupid amount of elevation. I've got the route on the way. And we are off. Need to keep the adrenaline in check so I don't bomb it away. Okay. See you soon. Wish me luck. I mean, this is a pretty great start already. It's off the main road through this little kind of little island in River Ness. Lovely stuff. This video is going to take so long to edit. I've only got like five minutes and I'm only, what, six minutes into the ride. So there were a couple of guys at the start where I sat off. They left only maybe two minutes before me, but I passed them. So I'm not last. I mean, not that it matters until the segments, but this is beautiful. We're only seven miles in. We're already in the middle of nowhere. We have been for some time. Beautiful. Weather's good. It's a little bit windy, but in this bit, the, the wind is kind of dampened by the trees, so not feeling it. It's overcast, it's warm. A bit muggy, a bit sweaty, but it's nice. It's uh, it's very nice. We are 7.9 miles in, uh, 53 minutes. So it's time for a snack. My target is have a snack roughly every 50 minutes. The two cyclists I passed earlier. I'm sure they'll get past me, but don't really care. Yeah, yeah. you good. One of my homemade energy bars. Banana, oats, walnuts, blueberries. Sugar. Very nice. But a bit crumbly. So 
this as well, I get dropped by the group. Single track descent, I'm just gonna let them go. I'm glad I'm at the back, so as not to completely embarrass myself. No, no. No, just seen the climb on the other side as well. I've just let the other guys go, Ben and Steve, they've just left, Andy and Graham, uh, much further up the road. Um, I'm just gonna let them go, do my own thing, much safer. This is beautiful, but it's also very steep, and uh, I'm not very good on steep descents, especially with a bike that weighs an extra, I don't know, like five to 10 kilos, I don't know, I didn't weigh it. So I'm just gonna be walking. Down this ravine. Got everything you need. I just had to walk down the down the steep bits there. Yeah. Yeah, that's that would have been a good it. idea because I wouldn't have got this, this is pinch punch. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. yeah. Oh. <laughs> well, good luck. I hope you get it right. sorted. Leave. So this is the spot on every Badger Divide video I've watched where people stop to look at the view. I mean, you can't blame them, but it also makes sense why everyone's stopping here. Because there's a gate there, you have to stop it anyway. So you may as well stop here. It's beautiful. I was in the pub last night and uh, got chatting to this bloke who said that this is the best spot to try and see Nessie. So I don't see her anywhere. Is that, I think I can see her. Can you see her? There she is! So I bought Nessie's little mascot to keep me going on the ride. So we're gonna put her on the bike now and she's gonna join me on my adventures. Look at this. Look at that view. We are 17 miles in, an hour 47. I'm gonna have another snack and then push on with Nessie. We're going to hike a bike this bit. Just had a long climb up and then a switch back. And this isn't unridably steep but my legs are knackered after that long climb and it's very sandy and slippery so so I'd walk it use some different leg muscles for a bit oh what a view right I'm gonna be honest with you I'm struggling. I'm only 30 miles in, but these climbs and descents are so steep and slippery and I've fallen off twice and not major crashes, just like toppled, managed to unclip in time, but it's really hard. I'm quite hungry. I, I don't think I'm that far away from Fort Augustus and I'm gonna get a load of food. It's really hard, really, really hard. I mean, I'm just an average guy. No, I enjoy cycling, but I am, I am just average and this is maybe an event too far. I really hope you can hear this. It's beautiful, but oh my God, it's difficult. I need to get to Fort Augustus and just regroup, get my head in the game. Oh, these brakes are shot already. In Fort Augustus, this is the last civilization I'll see today. I'm 40 miles in, I'm really struggling. I'm just eating some lunch. Get as much food in me as I can. Uh, had to buy some breakfast stuff as well. I'm wondering if I should get another bottle of water. Just fill up from a stream or something. 
I'll take my chances. I bought a uh, chicken wrap, bag of crisps, banana, clementine, part of mixed fruit. Part of mixed fruit will be for breakfast, I think. Some chicken satay and some tuck crackers. I just went a bit supermarket sweep in there, to be honest with you. Oh, and some tablet. Some tablet as well as a little treat. Which I'll need to keep me going. Bikes holding up. There's been a couple of not very pleasant sounds when rocks have just like spun up and clunked onto the frame. I'm not even going to check to see if it's cracked or not because I don't want that hassle. Anyway, I'm going to eat my food and then carry on. Try and get another 60 miles in today. But it's super muggy. Sweating buckets. Not very nice. So because I've got to get enough food for the rest of the day and maybe a bit of breakfast tomorrow struggling to find space for it but my old frame bag i thought i'll stick that on put the food in there great idea zip broke i thought mm, it's okay i've got cable ties not long enough then i remembered i've wrapped some electrical tape around my hand pump and the guy with this together and now i've got my crackers my clementine and my chicken satay. So the satay's for dinner. I've got fruit in my back pocket. I've got another bottle of water in my back pocket. Tablets in the top shoot bag. I think we're good. Let's get back on the road. Yeah, it's not pretty, but it will do. Hello, Mr. Robin. Oh, Mrs. Robin. We are half a kilometer from Corriarrick Pass. So the live segment for this one is working. The first segment wasn't, but that was fine. The KOM is 5306, 7.3 miles to go. My end time's for it to be an hour and 52. Let's try and get it sub two hours, shall we? I'm just trying to keep it as steady as I can in terms of effort. Let's see if I can make it up the whole way. It's been one steep section already, which I had to really kind of dig deep for. But I kept going. This bit's not too bad, but it's very rocky, very loose. There will not be much commentary, I can tell you that. Looks nice though. I've had to walk 5.8 miles to go, but it was too tough. It's too slippery. Hope I can get back on again. After this corner maybe. The view's incredible. Lots of little bugs flying around. I've got midge repellent on, but I don't know if it's gonna work. I better keep moving, keep the midges away. They're getting deeper. One point two six miles to go. That's the segment done. I really hope you can hear me. It is windy as hell. One hour thirty three thirty six for the segment. I was determined not to stop until the segment was done. The segment's done, so I'm sat on the floor. It's beautiful. Look at this. So this is the highest point on the route and the hardest climb done. So there's more descent than elevation now until Glasgow. So I'm clinging on to that fact. 51 miles in, seven and a half hours. Just slow going. I'm gonna put my gilet on because I think it's gonna be cold on this descent. Well done. It started raining, so I'm gonna put the rain jacket on. It's cold. 
ah! I'm stopping at every switchback, but it's ridiculous. The size of these rocks, man. It's, hey, hang on. I mean, these are some of the smaller ones. <clears throat> but it's just like, these just like, that's the track, that's the trail. And then you got these, hang on, I'll show you. And you got those little walls to jump over. It's daft is what it is. It's daft and it's beautiful. And windy. Oh, that will do. Oh, that was deep. Deeper than I thought it was gonna be. Also quite deep. So much for not getting wet shoes. Oh, what is this bull These little walls all the way down. You can see them like little hurdles. Some of them are okay, but some, I just get off and lift it. Cause I'm a coward. I just don't want to puncture. I'm taking a bridge. I don't care. Much better. Hi there. Hello. Sorry? This will be a long trip for me. Yeah, how far are you going? Sorry? How far are you going? Fort. How is it Fort? Fort Augustus? Yeah, so we're gonna put Fort around it. This is the heaviest one. Yeah, it's a long way up. It's a long way up. 12 miles, you said to me? Uh huh. Yeah, good luck. Yeah. Have you. a good ride. This is the start of the third segment, which is, oh, it's a long one, 21 and a half miles still to go. KM's an hour and a half. I'm not gonna do that because I'm gonna need to stop for a snack halfway along it, but that's fine. So I stopped for a snack, segment be damned. My plan is I'll have a snack and then I'll do I'll finish the segment, got 19.6 miles to go, and then, then I'll stop for dinner proper. But there's no way I can do the whole segment without stopping for food. So that's what I'm gonna do. Shattered. This is insane. I'm knackered, but this is beautiful. Taking the edge off the tiredness. Windy, stuck in sand. So this wind is pretty bonkers, but it's time for stop for dinner. 87 miles in, just finished that last segment and it was about 35 minutes off the KOM, which I think is pretty good actually. So yeah, happy with that. Uh, really hungry now. So I'm gonna eat my dinner, which is some mini chicken satay, I've got some tuck crackers and a clementine and I'll probably have some other snackage. Oh, I've got a bit of tablet. I'll have some tablet for pudding. Yeah, that's what I do. How do I have you to have my dinner too, though? And this moss is so comfortable. I don't think you can see me now. The sun's going down. But I've got 87 miles in. And got about 50 minutes to go until I've done 10 hours of moving time. I'm gonna try and get to 100 miles. It started spitting with rain. Let's see how it goes.
So that was day one of the Badger Divide done. I had originally planned to find a nice camp spot at the end of day one, maybe beside a lock, maybe in Rannoch Forest, but that didn't happen. The plan had also been to, before going to bed, have this uh, bottle of whiskey that I picked up in the Highland Whiskey Shop. This is still a full unopened bottle, so that didn't happen. But what actually happened was, as soon as the bike tipped over to 100 miles, I dragged the bike off the path behind a rock and set up the bivvy to lay down for the night. I assume it was a beautiful place to set up camp, but I couldn't see anything. I'd been riding into a headwind in the rain. I'd been on the bike for 13 hours at this point, total time. So all I wanted to do was just lie down. And because the moor has no trees or anything really, I didn't have anything to tie the foot of the bivvy up with. So that was just canvas just resting on my feet and it rained a lot overnight. Woke up multiple times in the night, soaking wet feet. Not the best night of sleep I've ever had. And to make matters even worse, my phone got completely drenched too and it took about 15 minutes in the morning just to type out one message to my wife to say, good morning, I'm still alive, starting day two. And then the phone was just gone completely. The touch screen broke, basically. So even after drying it out, I couldn't use the phone because I couldn't unlock it and interact with any of the buttons because it's all, it's all touch screen now. Good morning. It's 6 a.m., near enough. Just gonna head out again. Uh, I got in pretty late, well, not that late, about quarter past ten, uh, to the bivvy spot. Um, just over 100 miles yesterday, so 110 to do today, uh, which is not really what I wanted. I wanted to do more yesterday than I'm doing today, but last night the headwind, the rain, it was horrible. So, I'm gonna hit the road, push on. That is where I camped. You can't really see because I've packed up, but that's the flattened grass possibly see that and then that's the trail there let's go I've just come along a nice little forest track uh, got a good average speed feeling a lot better about the day now until I got to this section which is like a mountain bike trail and I don't like it I don't like narrow bits, I don't like twisty bits, I don't like when they put a bloody gutter in the middle that's like a foot wide I know I just need to like send it and just leap it but no I slowed down and when we went in the gutter and I fell off very slow speed crash very gnarly I don't think I'm too far from Killin. I've no idea I really, really need a cup of tea. <coughs> struggling to keep food down. Well, not keep it down. I'm struggling to eat. Um, my stomach is just refusing. Um, but I'm having a little rest here. And then uh, see how it goes. Two hours in today, and I've gone 117.5 miles, which is not quite target speed, but if I get off these twisty, crappy bits, I'll be alright. So this is Rannoch Forest. I've got a long, draggy climb. But I'm just taking it easy in the granny gear, rolling up steadily, enjoying the scenery. This climb just keeps going and going and going and going. It's a long one. It's raining. I'm very nearly out of water. I've got like one mouthful left. So I really need to find civilization soon. My arms hurt. Hate, 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 hate it. Road 
Food is good. They've got to be taking the mick. So, one, the horrible little footpath. Two, I've got to cross like this raging river down there. I don't know if there's another way around. I don't think there is looking at the map. What is this madness? I genuinely think the only option is wet feet. Yep, wet feet. I'm 161 miles in. I've got five and a half hours to get to Glasgow. Mm, it's gonna be tight, especially if there's more terrain like this. Shut up. We've got an even bigger river to cross now. Two wet feet coming up. My feet had just started to dry out. You bastards. Who thought this was a good idea? This descent is so much better than I was expecting it to be. I thought I was going to have to be descending terrain like I came up, but thankfully not. Apologies for the mud on the screen. I'll wipe it off at some point. 166 miles done. I'm really pushing it. 45 miles to go, four and a half hours to do it. So I still need to stop for food. Just need to get a couple of snacks. But if it stays at this kind of terrain for a decent length, I should have time to do it. 174 miles. Less than four hours to go. About 15 miles to go. I've got about eight minutes of leeway for my target time. I think we're gonna do it, guys. I think we're gonna bloody do it. That is me finished. Badger divide complete. I didn't uh, make it before eight o'clock, but I don't care. Also the route brought me to the official end point in Kelvin Grove and the cutoff time was at Drygate Brewery, which apparently is like three miles away. So maybe I would have made it if the route was going to the right place. I don't care. That was epic. I'm not gonna do a debrief report thing now. I'm gonna try and get my phone to work. That's not worked all day. Right, I'm gonna try and get my phone working, go to the brewery, see if my pal's about, and then get ready for the sleeper train home in less than three hours.